In this tutorial, I'll show you how to effectively search for templates on themeforest.net. Once you've gotten to themeforest.net, click on to WordPress. So as you can see here, there's a number of different options. It says that there's 11,000 plus different templates I can look for. And you have all of these categories here. If you're looking for something that's more minimal, I do recommend typing in fashion, or if you're looking for something more image driven, I would type in photography in this particular search bar. You can also look at creative. If you're looking for something that looks more like a newsletter or magazine, something with a lot of information, aggregated content in it, I would go for blog or magazine. Corporate is going to show you a bunch of different templates related to different industries. And one thing I'll say is just because you're not in a particular industry doesn't always mean that the template isn't right for you. So when you're searching through these and you've started to narrow these things down, make sure that you're in grid layout. That's this one right here. The reason why is it'll show you a lot more results when you're scrolling through. My method for looking through this is just look at the thumbnails and you can kind of visualize and see this might be something that I like and you know you can click on preview to view the actual template. Click on a few of them and you know you'll need to get used to just looking it's a trial and error process. Now I've chosen four specific templates to look at, so that way you can understand what's possible and what's not. With a WordPress template, keep in mind that the colors of the theme and the buttons, etc., can be changed. So can the pictures that are on it, and of course the content itself. So that's one thing to remember. Two, what you want to look at is the structure of the website. So what I mean by structure is where is the navigation bar on this particular page? Does it have a slider and what is that slider like? Is it full width or is it a box that sits in the middle of the page? And if it is full width, you'll want to consider, do I have photos that are large enough to accommodate a slider? And if not, you might think about getting stock images. Additionally, for all of these templates, they're going to show you all of the features that are available for this particular template. So sometimes that can make it look really cluttered and other times it can also show you particular parts of the template that don't apply to you. So for example, this has a team section. If you don't have a team, then that might not apply to you. However, keep in mind that these sections can be hidden or removed. So this one here, you see a bunch of different sections related to projects, etc. You're just kind of scrolling through and seeing what they have. If you're looking at a corporate template, it's usually going to have a lot more words or section for words than a creative template. Next, look at the footer. So the footer means that at the very bottom of the page, on every single page of your website, it's going to have areas for content. This particular template includes three different areas. These sections at the bottom are usually replaceable. I'm going to click back to the top by clicking this button right here. So when I talk about structure, we're looking at the navigation, where is the slider and how does it look like, what are the different sections that are available, as well as what does the footer look like. Whenever I'm on a template, aside from looking at the home page, I do look at the About Us page because this is usually the most plain page that there can be on a site. So I just want to see what does that look like. And as you can see here, this is what this particular one looks like. And then I look at the blog. So if you do plan on blogging, do you like it to be like this, where it has what's called a masonry layout? All of the different blog posts are kind of staggered. Or would you rather have it just stacked on top of each other like boxes? Let's look at the next template. This is another business-related template. And as you can see, it has the social icons at the top. It looks like there's a login area because it has a shop. It has a slider with call-to-action areas, which means I can click onto it. Things like the slider speed, how fast these things are moving, you can change that as well. So don't let that be a deterrent of whether or not you'll get a template. This has a service area section and others here. So I'm just looking for, in general, do I like how it looks or how it's laid out, keeping in mind that I can remove certain things. This particular template includes a price area. So if you want to have packages shown on your website, this might be a type of feature that you'd look for on different templates. And then I will go to the about page. So in this case, they call it who we are. And their who we are section is laid out like this. So you know, you want to think about do I like that? Do I not like it? And do they have a blog page? 
they call it news in this case, and they have a number of different layouts. I'm just going to look at full width. All of the blog posts are on top of each other as opposed to masonry layout, which is what we saw earlier. Another thing that's unique about this particular template is they also include a little bar up top, which shows you responsive views. What does it look like when a tablet is landscape? or portrait view. It'll let you navigate through when you're in a mock-up of a tablet view or mobile, what will look like in mobile. Let's go to the next one. This is in the creative section of Theme Forest. This is a fashion related template. Like I said before, usually these are more minimal. My navigation is at the top over here. Social media icons are there. A logo or text name is here at the top in the middle. And this is not a full width slider. This is actually a smaller slider that's in the middle. So structurally, that's what it's like. It looks like I'm on the blog page for this one. This is what their blog is laid out like. I want to go to the home page, so let me see if I could do that. Okay, so this is what their home page looks like. It has the blog in the front and it has the about me section with this sidebar. So it integrates Instagram, which is great. It has a mailing list sign up. Again, if I don't want those things, I could just remove them. And lastly, we're going to look at another creative template. I chose a different type of theme layout on purpose. So as you can see, I have navigation bar that's on the left side. On the right is the content. So this one has slider right here. I can't scroll anywhere, so I have to click on one of the pages to see something else. I'll click on blog, and that's what that looks like. And I'll click on portfolio, and it's a masonry layout again. Click on contact because I'm curious, and that's what that looks like. Now, just because it doesn't have an about page doesn't mean I can't create one. It just doesn't have that in the demo. So in this case, it looks like the simplest page that they have is contact. So I'll just know that if I create an about page, this is what it's going to look like. I could put a photo up top. I could put about and then information about myself. I don't necessarily have to have sidebar information if I don't want to. When you're ready to buy a template or you're considering buying a template, go ahead and click on buy now and it'll bring you to the main page for the theme. Now what this is going to do is tell you the price as well as some of the features. Now I don't look too much at this. You can if you would like to. I usually look at my themes visually, but if you want to know more information, you can look there. I also look on the right side. Now, if you are someone who's a creative or you have the capability to do a mock-up before even purchasing the theme, sometimes they include PSD files, which is a Photoshop file, which allows you to create a mock-up of what it would look like before you actually start developing. Uh, this one doesn't include that. There's also comments, so comments and also ratings for the theme itself. One thing to avoid is a theme that's really, really new and doesn't have any comments at all. Because as much as it might look nice or it might be what you want, you kind of want to have proof of concept. So these people tend to have liked this theme and there's been 113 sales so far. So when you're ready to buy, you just press add to cart. They'll have you create your own account and then you'll process your payment. That was a tutorial of how to effectively search for a template for WordPress using ThemeForest. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. And please do like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.